at 634. Joining us live in studio, Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's get right to it. So the big focus right now, this Republican tax plan uh, that could be a vote as early as tomorrow. How much of the bill have you been able to peruse through and what are your thoughts at this point? Well, I mean, a lot of the bill hasn't changed. Again, it's a huge tax cut for people at the very top. 62% of the tax cuts go to the top 1%. Makes it easier for companies to ship American jobs overseas. And it creates a $1.5 trillion deficit that the next generation will be burdened with. It doesn't really it will raise taxes on tens of millions of middle class families. So this is not a middle class tax cut. We need to fix our tax code. It should have been done in a bipartisan way. This is based on this sort of trickle down economics that if you just let people at the very top have more of their money, it's going to trickle down to the rest of us. Uh, it's not a good bill in terms of economic growth. So we're going to work hard to defeat it, but it looks like they have the votes in the Senate and very likely in the House as well. When you're looking at the, in your mind, the negative aspects of this bill, do you see any positive outcome from this? Sure. I mean, there's a couple of provisions that are positive. The problem is you have to read the bill in its entirety. And what it essentially does is it will gut Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security to pay for these tax cuts. It's a trillion and a half dollars. They're not paid for. So the Republicans have already said this is phase one, big tax cut for people at the top. And now to pay for it, they're going to make cuts in Social Security, Medicare, Pell Grants, infrastructure, all the important things, the important investments that are made that support middle class families. All right, we'll have to see what happens this week then. All right, more than uh, 36,000 low income Rhode Islanders depend on children's health insurance. Uh, to pay for their children's medical needs. Important um, issue that we've been talking about all morning long. Are we any closer to renewing that funding Look, at all? This has always been a bipartisan effort. This is about insuring children and nine million children nationally, uh, over 36,000 here in Rhode Island. Uh, it has always been bipartisan. We're continuing to press in the hopes that we get it done this week. The Republicans have proposed reauthorizing CHIP, but paying for it by making cuts in the prevention fund, which is, you know, lead poisoning prevention, immunizations. We shouldn't make little kids pay for their health insurance that way while they're given a one and a half trillion dollar tax cut to the richest people in this country who aren't paying for it. All right, so what if Congress doesn't act, though? Do we, the state, somehow make up that money? Are well, these families really out of luck? No, no, we absolutely have to. Uh, the kids in Rhode Island will run out of coverage in March, so we have to get this reauthorized before then. But there are already communities where this is happening, so we've got to work together in a bipartisan partisan way to get this reauthorized. All right, and more on health insurance with that important deadline coming up this week. Uh, what do people need to know before the deadline? They need to know they have to the end of the month, December 31st, to, to enroll, that if they already have in health insurance, they have to re-enroll, and they should shop again and be sure they still have the right plan for them. Uh, but it's important that you get done before December 31st, otherwise you're going to be out of luck. All right, Congressman David Cicilline, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. We Thanks appreciate it. We'll be posting this interview in its entirety later this morning on Eyewitness News, uh, WPRI.com.